I'm Presley, and welcome back to Bite Size History Freedom Trail. Today we're doing the 17th and last stop on the Freedom Trail, if you're going the direction we're going, which is the USS Constitution. Um, so I'm very, very excited, but also very sad to talk about it, because that means that this is over, and there's no more Freedom Trail videos, but I'm still really excited to go and see these in person. So the Constitution was named by George Washington, which is super cool um, that he got to name the ship. And the ship's copper fastenings uh, were constructed by, guess who? We've talked about him a whole lot. Paul Revere, he did the um, copper fastenings for the ship, as he did a lot of other things in Boston. As well as uh, the USS Constitution has a really amazing museum from what I heard and all the exhibits are really interactive which is so good because I love interactive exhibits um, and it teaches kids about what life on sea was actually like around then and it teaches you stuff like how to properly hoist the sails on a ship like that and there's just so much I'm sure it talks about scurvy a bit um, but yeah I'm just really excited to go there and I love boats and I did a really big unit study on pirates uh, so it's going to be really cool because I've always been fascinated by life on sea and marine stuff it's just really cool <laughs> and she has earned the nickname Old Ironsides uh, which was because she's a very very strong ship um, and she's remained undefeated since she first launched um, I mean there's no battles going on right now but uh, she still has remained undefeated and she's a very 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 strong ship uh, so it would kind of appear that cannonballs would slide off her sides um, that are not actually out of iron but it looks like the cannonballs were hitting iron when they were really just hitting like some really strong wood um but still super cool ships i love boats boats are really exciting <laughs> and she circled the world during the 1840s which is super duper cool and she is still um it put in use a little bit today um during the american civil war she served as a training vessel. She also uh, carried American artwork um, to the 1878 Paris Expo, um, which is super duper cool that she's been used a couple times since the Revolutionary War. Don't quote me on this because it might not be right, um, but I think she's the oldest still floating battleship which is super duper cool, um, and I'm very, very excited to go to the museum because I've heard it's great, as well as to actually be standing on such a historical thing. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to go actually walk the Freedom Trail, um, and that's happening really, really soon. And just wondering why they call ships she. Like, I never quite got it. I remember Maybe I googled it once but completely forgot about it. Like, I would love it if one of you guys would know um, and one of you guys told me because I don't understand. Why does a ship have a gender? Who knows? So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to press that subscribe button to see us when we actually go there in person. And I'll see you next time. Bye!